What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Prairie State Patriots. Last week we did a torture test of the Shield Arms S15 magazines for the Glock 43X right here. A lot of the comments were about how we should test the Glock factory OEM magazines, so that's what we're going to bring for you today. Stay tuned. As we did in the last video, we're going to start out with 40 rounds per magazine dry, test how they run. We're using Federal American Eagle 147 grain ball ammunition. So far, so good. We just ran through 40 rounds with each magazine dry with no failures. Test two, it's gonna be pocket lint. Up next is the water test, just like in the last video. We're going to drop them in the bucket, let them soak for about 20 minutes, see how they run. Alright, it's been about 20 minutes in the water, let's see how these mags run. So far, so good. It's not quite as dry as last time, but here comes the dirt test. Pretty dirty. Right, we got them pretty dirty. See how they do. First failure of the day, failure to go into battery. There 
Everything else ran. Could you hand me that round right there? Keep, Keep going. going. Not in battery. Didn't strike. The first malfunction, we had no primer strike. Second one was very light. On the last two magazines, we had one light strike and two primers that weren't struck at all. We believe that's due to debris in the striker channel. These are getting gritty and hard to load. We're going to find out if we can finish the dirt test. Not looking good. The rounds are refusing to chamber out of this magazine now. Let's try the second one. As you can see, we've lost spring tension on this magazine. Not looking good. We picked up the live rounds that we ejected in the last part of the test, rinsed the magazines in the water bucket, just give them the benefit of the doubt. We'll see if they're still alive or if we killed them. Still pretty filthy, but we managed to get through the dirt test onto the mud. As I mentioned, we did rinse these magazines in the dirt test to rule out that it was not the actual pistol malfunctioning, that it was indeed the magazines. It's also a bit damp out compared to the last time we tested, so just give these Glock mags a benefit of the doubt. Now we're onto the mud test. These have been soaking and they're good and muddy. Let's see how they do. At this point, the pistol is completely locked up. We have to dry off and see if we can get it broke free. That last stoppage was due to a round completely stuck in the chamber, not due to the magazine.
Once again, a live round is stuck in the chamber. At this point, nothing is wanting to chamber or extract. I think it's safe to say that the mud test killed the Glock magazines as well. We're going to attempt the other magazine. All right, we got everything cleaned up. We're gonna see how it runs and make sure that the gun is still functioning. Still a little gritty. So as you guys saw, the Glock OEM mags absolutely failed the mud test. That wasn't really surprising because during the dirt test, he started having issues with malfunctions and just loading the magazines, the springs were already starting to bind. So at that time, we weren't even gonna continue with the mud test, but we figured since we're comparing these to the Shield Arms S15 mags and we did the mud test with those, we should go ahead and do the mud test with the Glock magazines, which was a miserable failure. Yeah, I was really surprised with the Glock mags failing the way that they did. The Shield Arms magazines definitely outperformed the Glock as far as a dirt and mud test. We didn't have any of the issues as far as locking the gun up or having trouble getting rounds out of it or stripping the mag like it did with the Glock magazines. Now that last clip that we just showed, that was after we had cleaned the gun up a little bit and uh, cleaned out the magazines. They functioned, but the springs were definitely still gritty and uh, was not wanting to quite feed correctly. So. I think if we had to pick, we would absolutely recommend the Shield, Shield Arms, Arms mags over the OEM mags, at least for the Glock 43X. Um, that I was not impressed with those at all, and we're both huge Glock fans. You guys have watched our other videos. We're always shooting Glock pistols. Uh, other than that, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. Either way, leave us a comment. Let us know what you liked or did not like. If you'd like to see more content from us in the future, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.